income tax 2021 2022 tax software example unemployment compensation get ready to get refunds to the max diving into income tax 2021 2022 Lacert tax software you don't need tax software to follow along however you might want to get access to the form 1040 which you could find at the irs website at irs.gov irs.gov starting at our starting point single filer adam Smith. smith Living in Beverly Hills, 90210, 100,000 W-2 income, 12,550 standard deduction for the single filer, 87,450 at the taxable income. Mirroring that in our income tax equation, there's the 87,450 relying on the software to calculate the tax. Page 2, 1515 on page 2, 1515. That's our starting point. So let's go back on over. Let's say we have some unemployment now. I'm going to open up. A couple more forms that's typically going to be on schedule one so we can go on to schedule one and i'm going to right click and jump to that on the software to the data input many softwares have this capability at least uh at least if you're talking like uh like professional software if you're talking about individual software it'll, it'll usually have like a, an interview process and then i would have my form my my form 1099 from the government and which is usually a 1099 g and it's usually a fairly straightforward process then you're going to say all right un unemployment compensation was just let's say it was that 100 1000 again 1000 unemployment compensation back to the forms and then that's going to be populated here on line number seven flows down through to, to the bottom on line 10 and that flows through then to the first page of the form 1040 on line number eight there's the 1000 adding up here to the 101 if we mirror that in our excel worksheet i'd say okay there's the income i'm going to go to adjustments i'm sorry not adjustments additional income schedule one tab and i'm going to put a, a line in here for unemployment unemployment did i spell it right i don't know i think so i think it's right don't be mad at me if i spelled it wrong i can't spell i can't spell okay so if I sum this up, the 1,000, if we go back to the first tab, then there's the 101. And now we've got the 12,550 still at the standard deduction at the 88,450. The 88,450 is going to be down below page two, calculating the tax then at the 15,255. So we have the tax increased 15,255 that we can mirror down here in our tax uh, equation. So the unemployment usually fairly straightforward. Just remember that last year that you had that exemption thing that really kind of throw, throws people off. So they might ask you, well, uh, you know, is it taxable or not? And last year's the capacity to exempt some of it last year could be a confusion. Also note that you could have confusion related to the identity theft uh, kind of situation where there's a there's a false 1099 in which case you want to go to the government to kind of get that remedied you could possibly have a withholding too so there might be like a withholding over here and that would be a similar kind of withholding that you would have uh, for if I go back to the forms uh, on page two for a w-2 similar to a w-2 type of withholding which in our tax formula then would be down here in the payments area similar to the w-2 kind of situation in our payments so i've got estimated payments you might i've got w-2 or other withholdings the ten dollars would go there and then we can go back to the first page we see the ten dollars so we got the 15 255 minus the 10 gets us to the 15 245 although they'll probably have a penalty calculation if i was to look here of the 274 so i'll just add that here 274 penalty and that brings us to the 15559 so you can kind of double check uh in that way but fairly straightforward typically the unemployment in most cases although you often and, and most of the time by the way i don't see many people <laughs> doing the withholding on the unemployment because they just take the unemployment and don't don't set up the withholdings on it but some do the and you might see the withholding in in there so usually pretty straightforward but you will have to explain it oftentimes to clients that are going to say well why is it taxable it wasn't taxable last year i don't think unemployment should be taxable and so on and so forth